Hey guys, Fox here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is a Nintendo Famicom. This console is in perfect working condition. However, it does need a couple of mods doing to it. The first mod is a power indicator, LED. And the second mod is because this system only outputs RF and it's very difficult to tune one of these systems into a UK TV because it's Japanese NTSC over RF and a lot of UK TVs just simply won't like that what I'm gonna have to do is AV mod this so it outputs composite video which a UK TV should be able to accept a NTSC signal over composite video so yeah they're the two mods I'm gonna do to this so Stick around, give me five minutes to set up, and we'll crack on with this thing. Before I get on with the mods, I want to show you the components you're going to need if you want to carry these mods out yourself. The first one you're going to need is some Vero board. Um, later in the video, I'll show you how to cut this out. You're going to need two 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitors. You're going to need a 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, two 22k ohm resistors, a 82 ohm resistor, a 560 ohm resistor, a C1815 transistor, a 3mm LED and a 3.5mm headphone socket and these are the components you're going to need if you want to carry out these mods okay before I prep this LED to go inside the Famicom I just want to show you what I've done to it I took my jeweler's file and um, filed it flat then what I did was rub the top on some glass and it's repolished the top as you can see and what that does is when it goes in the Famicom it will be nice and flush with the actual case uh, it won't have that dome to it so if you actually gently knock it you're not going to push it through the case and, and out uh, because this is nice and flat now and it should be flush and yeah I just wanted to show you that okay I've spent the last hour putting together the components I need to actually perform the AV mod and the power indicator LED mod what you can see in the center of the screen is the little boost circuit for the AV mod and what I'll do now is show you a picture and it will show you how to put this thing together and then once you've looked at that we can crack on with the mods As you can see, both holes have been drilled. 
here's the power indicator LED hole and here's the hole for the headphone socket that carries video and audio as you can see I have the headphone socket bolted in that carries video and audio I also have the red power indicator LED and I just need to solder everything in so what I'm going to do now is solder everything up get it looking nice and neat and then afterwards explain what's going on because um, it's better if I actually do the mod first and then show you afterwards what's what and what goes where and I'm done all wired in what I can do now is show you what's what if we look down there you can just about see the boost circuit for the AV boost uh, you can also see the red LED if I pan up a bit you can see where I tapped in for plus 5 and ground that goes to the boost circuit and it also powers the red LED if we move up we have audio in to the boost circuit we have video in to the boost circuit and if I pan down we can see a smoothing cap that goes across the rail for the PPU and that helps with things like jail bars and if we go back to the boost circuit we can see the video and the audio coming out and it comes along here goes up here and just down there is the headphone socket where the audio and video comes out so yeah that's that guys all I need to do now is bolt this back together and we can give it a test as you can see we're all bolted back together ready to give this system a test I have my EverDrive N8 as you can see we've got the flush power indicator now accidentally knocking that back into the case and um, we have the video and audio out which goes into my Scott switcher which then obviously goes into the TV so yeah let's power this system on we have a nice power indicator now if I pan up we've got a picture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start and that will start the game that was in the Everdrive's memory and it should be Super Mario Brothers 3 and it is now I'm not any hearing any audio at the moment so I need to start the game so I press start and as you can hear we have audio but what I'm going to have to do now is mute that because Nintendo are notorious for giving you copyright strikes if you use any of their audio or video in a YouTube video um, it's why a lot of people don't do playthroughs on Nintendo systems because of that but yeah I'm getting away from what I originally filmed this video for but as you can see we have a great picture now one thing about this mod is because I've not um, lifted pin 21 or cut pin 21 of the PPU I've not removed the transistor to rewire in the transistor I've not touched any of the components inside the RF modulator this thing should still output RF now I have it up top through RF you can see just there, don't know if you can see that, there's the RF just there and I'm going to switch over to the analog portion of my TV and we should get a picture and as you can see we do it's a pretty crappy picture because it's RF <laughs> but it's a picture nonetheless so switch back to composite video and as you can see we're working perfect so this system is 100% how it left the factory and the only difference now is it has a power indicator mod and it has video composite video and audio coming out the side so yeah there you go guys 
hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always I'll catch you on the next one